and we'll toss it over to Cassie Naw. For this week's Weather Wednesday, we are answering viewer Victoria's question. What are heating and cooling degree days and what are they used for? For those of you who have never heard of these, they show up on our climate data every day. And they are based around the assumption that when the outside temperature is at 65 degrees, heating or cooling of your indoor space is not going to be necessary for you to be comfortable. So that's the foundation. Let's walk you through how and why these are calculated. First, they are calculated by taking the average temperature for the day and finding the difference from 65 degrees. So for example, if your morning low was 60 and your afternoon high was 80, the average temperature for the day would be 70, which is above 65 degrees by five degrees. That means that we would have had five cooling degree days for that date. You would have had to use your AC to cool your temperature, cool your indoor space down. The reason we do these is it helps us track energy usage, similar to tracking miles per gallon on a car. If you're just knowing how much fuel you use, but you didn't know how far you got, it doesn't really help you very much. That is what heating and cooling degree days are used for to help track that energy usage. And that is your Weather Wednesday.